This video will be covering the various ways Classic Federal Credit Union's mobile application makes it easier to access your account on the go. As with any native application, start by navigating to the app and tap its icon. After the splash screen loads, you will be presented with the main menu. This screen gives you the option of logging into your account, viewing information about Class Act, viewing contact information, and locating ATMs and branches. With a tap to log in, the app will prompt you for your account number and PIN and will alert you if either is incorrect. After a successful login, you will be presented with the home menu, consisting of accounts, transfers, bill pay, and SMS guide. Starting with the login section, all of your shares for your account will be displayed. This also includes any linked accounts as well. You are able to scroll through this list and tap any share to pull up transaction history for that share. Hitting the back button on your phone or touching the back button at the top of the app will take you back one screen. So if we hit back twice from the transaction history, we will be brought back to the home menu. The next section to cover is transfers. Currently you are able to transfer to any linked share on your account. Member to member transfers and transfers for MasterCard payments are unavailable at this time. You start the process as you normally would by selecting where the money will be transferred from then where the money will be transferred to. You are then prompted for the amount to be transferred and then prompted again to confirm the transaction. Up to this point, if at any time you wish to cancel the transfer, tap back, cancel, or home to get back to the home menu. The transfer will not be processed if you do so. On the confirmation page, the transfer will be processed once you tap confirm and if successful, the app will display the confirmation number and any other relevant information for the transfer. If you make your way to the home menu, we can go over bill pay access. Within bill pay, we have the ability to set up a single payment, set up a recurring payment, view scheduled payments, and view your payment history. Be aware that bill pay needs to be set up at a computer prior to using it on a mobile device. There is currently no way of adding payees or accounts from which to make it payments. By selecting single payment, you will start to notice similarities to making transfers. The only difference is that you will select the payee, then select which account you wish to pay from. Next, you are prompted to input the amount you wish to pay. You are also given an option at this point to change the processing date for the payment. Just as before with the transfer, you were asked to confirm the payment and given the option to cancel and return to the bill pay menu. With the recurring payment, you select the payee and the account you are paying from in the same manner, except this time there are options for frequency to set up how the recurring payment will be processed. You first select how it will repeat, then which day of the week it will be processed on. The next screen asks about paying around holidays and if this recurring payment will end. If it does have an end, you have the option of setting an end date or a set number of payments to be made. After setting up the frequency information, you are prompted for the amount the payments will be and the first process date. Just as before with a single payment, you are asked to confirm the payment or cancel it. Selecting scheduled payments will allow you to view upcoming payments that you have scheduled, and if a payment is selected, you will have the option of deleting that payment.
Selecting payment history will allow you to see the final status of payments within the past month. Finally, the last option within the home menu is the SMS guide, which contains a link to register for SMS inquiries and a short overview of the basic commands to use via text message. Within the app, you are able to select the Locations tab at any time. If your phone has GPS capabilities, the application may ask you to enable it to get the most accurate reading of your current location. This is an optional step if you choose not to set it up. Selecting the branch locator, you can view our available branches, select one, and get a map or directions to that location. Also available is an ATM locator, which will allow you to search by address or your current location. As with the branch locator, the detailed view of an ATM location will allow you to map it or get directions to that location. When you are finished with your session, you can tap the logout link at the top of the screen or just leave the app as there is a timeout feature to 